We have seen people making as high as $10,000 from the Aptos token airdrop. If you missed it, set casing should be the next target because it could potentially offer even more free money. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the SAC casing ecosystem and how we can potentially make thousands of dollars from it. If you like making free money in this bear market, make sure you watch the entire content till the very end so that you won't miss out any important steps. With that out of the way, let's get started with SAC casing and its potential. First of all, let me walk you through what SAC casing is. SAC Casync is a layer 2 scaling solution designed to speed up transactions and lower gas fees on the Ethereum network. While maintaining high security and privacy for users, it does this via the use of Zero Knowledge Rollup or SACK Rollup, which means transactions on Ethereum are bundled up to be processed off-chain and then sent back to the main chain after validation. SACK Rollup is the core element of SACK Sync. For those of you who don't know what a SACK Rollup is, Basically, it generates cryptographic proofs to verify transactions without revealing the information itself, hence the name Zero Knowledge Proofs. It maintains privacy by making transaction details such as token amounts anonymous. It is also highly secure because compressed transaction data are stored on-chain, inheriting the robust security of Ethereum. Unlike other Layer 2 solutions, SACK Sync rely on math instead of third party validators to scale computation. There are also validators on SACK Sync, but they play a different role. They are known as operators of sequences and are in charge of executing, aggregating, and submitting transactions to the main chain but they do not validate the transactions themselves, the Ethereum smart contract does instead. By relying on math and cryptographic security, SACK Sync ensures a truly secure and trustless environment for DeFi or decentralized finance. Since it is a layer 2 blockchain, it allows developers to build and deploy highly scalable smart contracts at low cost. There are hundreds of projects on the SACK Sync ecosystem. Some of the notable ones include Uniswap, Arve, Balancer, One Inch Network, Chainlink, and many more. Moreover, SACK Sync is working towards developing a new EVM compatible layer 3 prototype called Opportunity aimed at improving the performance of its layer 2 solution. Essentially, it creates an entirely new ecosystem of trustlessly linked blockchains called hybrid chains. Any projects built on SACK Sync will be feature-proof when their layer 3 solution is launched. But one thing I do need to make myself ultra clear is that so far there has not been any announcement of a SACK Sync token yet, but we know that from the SACK casing user document there will be a token with the ticker symbol potentially being set ks there is no confirmed date for the token release but the community expects it to be launched sometime in the near future this is especially since the team has announced that they will be moving towards the full alpha launch of a set casing 2.0 according to set casing latest update they have already completed two orders with the initial order finding resolved and no critical issues. Also, the SACK Sync 2.0 testnet is already up and running. Based on the latest roadmap update, the VAR onboarding alpha will be moved to quarter 1 this year and the full launch alpha will be moved to quarter 2 this year. It is hoped that when this happens, there will be bounties and community events that reward participants with tokens. Also, the roadmap to a potential airdrop will be clearer. So the main question being, how can I receive the SACK Sync token airdrop? Well, remember, airdrop is a guessing game. You don't know for sure if the protocol gonna give out some free money, but all we can do right now is to interact with the platform as much as you can, get some test that token to mess around because it really doesn't matter, the money is fake anyway. Moreover, dApps on SACK Sync 
also do not have a token yet, being an early user of that dApps put you in a great position to receive the token airdrops, allowing you to add additional rewards. In order to claim some testnet token, first of all, you will have to add SAC Sync Alpha testnet on your MetaMask. First, go to chainlist.org and connect your wallet, toggle on the testnet button and search for SAC Sync. Add to MetaMask and approve the transactions that pops up. Next up, you would like to go to the portal website and click on the faucet link. It will require you to have a Twitter account to claim the testnet tokens, so make sure that the Twitter account is one, not me, two, has engaged in previous Twitter activities, and three, has a profile picture. After it's successful, you will have received some girly ETH. DAI, LINK, USDC, and wrapped BTC. Remember, these are just testnet tokens, so they have no volume. You can only use them to play around on the testnet protocols. Next step, you would like to utilize the bridge. If you have the E, you can bridge down to the SACK sync at portal.sackcasing.io slash bridge. Of course, link will be found in the description box below. If you don't have Gertly ETH, you can use several forces such as GertlyFaucet.com. Another bridge you could utilize is the Orbiter Finance. Orbiter Finance is a decentralized cross row up layer 2 bridge that supports SAC casing as well as Arbitrum. You can send ETH, Matic, BNB and other tokens to SAC casing and other layer 2 blockchains via the bridge. However, keep in mind that these are mainnet tokens since the bridge is already live and running, but you can always bridge them back to Ethereum. From this point onwards, you just need to interact with as many dApps as possible. For example, you could try trading on Zitzak Exchange. It is a decentralized exchange powered by Zetkin Roll-Ups. It brings centralized exchange experience to DeFi and features a number of trading pairs facilitating trades on ZK Sync. You can use your testnet tokens to mess around and make a few trades. Next step you could interact with is the Argent Wallet. Argent is a mobile crypto wallet built on ZK Sync for Ethereum dApps. You can download the app with this link down below and create a username for your wallet. The username will be used to receive funds where you can send USDC from your ZK Sync wallet to your Argent wallet, for example, jammy.argent.xyz. Once you have USDC in your Argent wallet, you can use different DeFi protocols on the platform to earn yields, such as Yurt Finance, Aave, and Grow Protocol. Remember, there's really no rule here. Try to be creative and interact with as many dApps as possible. The next dApp I'm gonna hit is Mint Square, which is an NFT platform integrated with both Saki Sync and StarNet. You can mint an NFT by uploading the supported media of any picture you want. Don't forget to switch the network to Saki Sync, not StarNet. Give it a name, some attributes, and click mint, and voila, you have yourself a neatly minted NFT on the SAC casing testnet. If you do really want to secure that airdrop by SAC casing, there's also an extra step you could do, which is by donating on Gitcoin. Gitcoin is a community platform that funds and coordinates new open source developments. Here, you can browse projects and donate to the ones you believe have potential in the future. To donate, simply go to the grants page and choose one or more if you're feeling more generous to donate. At checkout, pay a fight the SAC case sync network for lower transaction fees. So there you go guys. These are just some of the dApps I come up with for this video. When it comes to airdrop, the more you interact, the higher the chance you will get the free money. I have also done a video covering the top four most likely upcoming airdrops. If you want to find out more, go ahead and click this video right here.